Dear students of English grammar, uh, students today we are uh, before you with the topic punctuation in this lecture five English words and lecture students we are going to study punctuation and in today's topic we will study how to use apostrophe. A student is uh, uh, apostrophe is one of the most important marks of punctuation and we will study this mark thoroughly. Uh, in previous lectures we have gone through uh, the study of uh, many punctuation marks. And I hope you have understood everything. Today our topic is how to use apostrophe. Hey student, this is M. Rahman and you are attending ORC classes of English language. Please to continue with us. Don't forget to subscribe our channel ORC classes of English language. And if you like our lectures, please don't forget to like, share and comment. Hey students, in today's lecture, a punctuation how to use apostrophe. Let's begin with possessive case. Hey student, apostrophe is used when we uh, want to create possessive case. What is possessive case, student? When somebody has possession on something, and we re uh, try to relate the uh, possession of that thing to a person, we use as Mohan's father. A student, we use this apostrophe when uh, the uh, noun is a living thing, man, a boy, girl, mother, father, etc. Mother, uh, Mohan's father. And students, if uh, we have a common noun then we can also use boy as game boy apostrophe as game but students if our common noun is in plural we use as students and when we have the ending at s means uh, when we have the ending with the letter s we don't use another s i mean to say we don't use another s after apostrophe like here like this uh, mohan's father because there is no s that's why i use apostrophe s but in this word uh, students students has already s in the ending of this word that's why i didn't uh, use extra s here because it will create much uh, hissing sound and it will be awkward like students rooms that's very awkward that's why we will not uh, will not do this students and then s of uh, making it plural then we will uh, use comma here apostrophe here and then rooms or room whatever now sometimes there is a singular uh, noun or singular uh, proper noun a students we use s like socrates when we have this hissing sound means a word ending with s we don't use another s here uh, and then we write another noun socrates life it is a very important uh, thing students and it is useful in your writing section in next point students to make figures and letters plural sometimes uh, figures means uh, uh, 102 7 5 3 digits when we want to make them plural we use 7 apostrophe s means there are so many digits of 7 here then 7 is in plural form the frequency is 7 is more than 1 that was 7s and 8s means uh, there are more than 1 8 digits you can say if i say uh, there are 5 7s then you will write there are five then space seven apostrophe s five sevens means five sevens 35 uh, eights when we count uh, uh, eight one two three four five then there are more than one eight digits of eight then you say eights in this way a's b's c's p's and q's suppose there are uh, uh, the letter of P are written in the frequency more than one. It means it is written in more than one times. Then students, you write P's, Q's. How many Q's are there? There are two Q's. There are two P's. There are two A's. In the same way, students, in the number three point, to make abbreviations plural. Sometimes we say, I have an MA. Means I have a guy that is an MA. If I have two guys who are MA, then you will say, I have two MA's, two MP's. Two PhDs. Uh, students, when we use uh, abbreviation, we must uh, pay attention where we should write capital letter and where we use uh, a small letter, and then after it, we use apostrophe and then S. PhDs. Now, students, to shorten the figures and words, sometimes uh, when we do not write the full word and we omit any letter. Uh, in between and from the ending or beginning we use apostrophe like o v e r we write this word in this uh, short form 
over students uh, i use apostrophe over v to omit e and this is used in william wordsworth's poem lucy gray uh, 1989 students i omit 19 sometimes readers uh, readers know that uh, 19 uh, isn't to be spoken that's why i omit Uh, apostrophe 89 means uh, there is some year written uh, before this apostrophe and uh, suppose that is 1989 after we see uh, 8 o'clock 8 o'clock 8 o generally students uh, make a mistake in writing this o'clock students o means of an of uh, f uh, we omit f that's why i used o and uh, you know whenever miss any letter students we mark this apostrophe and this in uh, at the place of this uh, apostrophe we can write off the short form is 8 o'clock in the same way students uh, we use many contractions and this is a wide topic based on contraction and it is very important for your spoken and written and you will improve your not only spoken but also writing section as well just see because these contractions are used in uh, Uh, when you seek responses from some some persons uh, you say are not are not in contractions how do we write are uh, we connect n with e r and and we omit o in this way apostrophe o uh, sorry apostrophe and t t are not means are and means and this is the pronunciation all this uh, Uh, written material written is stuff in green color is the pronunciation the sound of these combinations and these are the students contractions contraction means uh, by using apostrophe we may, we uh, wrote uh, all these uh, pairs of words in short form and let's begin with are not are not will be written in this way because both the words will be connected and uh, we will put apostrophe at the place where we omit letter or letters in this way are not and cannot can't cannot can't cannot can't could not an apostrophe t couldn't couldn't d will be spoken not clearly but half of the sound couldn't 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 did not d didn't 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 in influence it seems as you said didn't you said didn't but we speak the this d very lightly didn't didn't do not don't not don't do not don't don't not don't 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 do this don't go there don't don't do this don't such things does not does not does not we combine it and the pronunciation it doesn't doesn't when students this u is written with this bar the sound here and this u is written without bar you just try to uh, attention the sound didn't didn't and here you will speak this u clearly doesn't doesn't didn't you see just like it is uh, A small i didn't it is doesn't had not i had not no an apostrophe t ha didn't hadn't is not i s n apostrophe t isn't must not must an apostrophe t mustn't should not shouldn't should an apostrophe t shouldn't 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 you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do this was not wasn't wasn't this s will give the sound of z z z wasn't wasn't will not w o n apostrophe t want not want if you speak want it means w n t want i want t no it's want want will not want we were not were connected with n apostrophe t weren't Warrant, warrant, warrant. R will be spoken lightly. Warrant, warrant. Have not, haven't, ha, won't, haven't. Now come to the uh, column second. I am. 
this uh, ca this isn't capital i students this sound this is uh, based on phonetics this is i and if i write this is small i it's e it's i e i i am i have i apostrophe v e i have i have i have i will i'll a student there is this bar and then you but in this letter there is no bar inside the bracket i'll i will i apostrophe double l i'll i'll go there it is it apostrophe s it's it h a s it has it apostrophe s the same sound is there it's it will it apostrophe double l it'll 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 do it it'll do she is she apostrophe s she's she's going she's doing she's singing she's singing she has she's the sound of both the words are the same she is she is she will she apostrophe double l she'll 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 go there she'll go there she would she would she apostrophe d she'd she do it she do it she do it that is that apostrophe s this is the that's not that's it's that's 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 there is there apostrophe s there's 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 a cow there's there is a pan there is a cow there is a cow there is a game there there's this s give the sound of z there's is it it is it's that's 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 not that's it's that's they are they apostrophe are there there are so many girls there are so many girls they have they apostrophe v they have they have so many cows they have so many books they have they would that they would go there they do it that they apostrophe d now students in the last column let's see who is who apostrophe s who's who's there who's there who's there who's there who will who apostrophe double l who'll 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 do it who'll do it who'll do it who'll do it you would you apostrophe d you'd you do this you do this you do that you will we will we apostrophe double l will will share everything will share will go to school will go to cinema will go to theater will will we are we are we are going to cinema we are going to cinema we are going to cinema you had you'd you'd gone there by 2 o'clock you'd finish your work by 2 o'clock you'd means you had you had you'd you will you'll go there you'll you'll go there this is the pronunciation students and these are the abbreviations that are created only and only for you i hope you have not only learned but also enjoyed all these sounds all these uh, 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 contractions and these pair of words i think this is very important for you not only in spoken but also in writing section and i think you will enjoy all the four four components of english listening speaking reading and writing with us students don't forget to subscribe our channel oracy classes of english language and students please keep on watching and like share and comment and subscribe us to get all the lectures related to punctuation and all other topics of english maybe based on literature or grammar thanks a lot